Hi guys, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations with another short video on a vintage pachinko machine. This is a Nisogen Model B, like so many of them are. Um, I believe this is a 73, 73 or 74. Um, the stamp on it was pretty well shot. There was nothing I could see on it that we could do anything with. Uh, this was done with a full restoration. The uh, original play field on these, uh, although it wasn't really water stained all that much. Oh, hang on, guys. I got a doggy in my workshop. There's a doggy. And she just wrapped herself around my stand. Okay, um, this is the original play field. Um, and, it, and it's dirty, but not a lot of water staining. But you can see the the difference in the color change in the in the pink uh, of the original uh, play field is just gone. So it definitely needed a new uh, new play field. So we did the complete restoration. Uh, these have kind of interesting pay pockets. Let me open this up so you can see it better. This is pretty cool. I like this. I've never seen pay pockets like this before. Uh, there's actually a double hole for the pay pocket. This is all one piece and it's held in with a little flathead brass nail rather than the, the round heads that are so common on the on the Nisogen machines. Uh, very cool summer, summer center attraction. Uh, this piece here will, will flip over when the ball goes in from that to that. Uh, pretty cool center attraction. Um, on this particular model, this is translucent. These are opaque, so the ball out light is behind here. And then actually someone who had this prior to me getting it, um, for whatever reason, the, the whole wiring uh, portion for the jackpot was just gone. There was no light bulb or anything. The switches and such were there. It, they, it's like they just cut this off. I'm not really sure why. So this that had all been redone. Um, I put the 12 volt power supplies in. Obviously, this has all been cleaned. This was missing, uh, which although it's not 100% necessary for the the, the uh, functioning of the machine, uh, it probably would have made a mess eventually. Balls all over the place. The center attraction cover was missing, um, and the uh, uh, seesaw cover was missing. Again, these are not necessary. They're quite often missing, but I happen to have spares and it's nice because there is a light that goes inside of that cover um, and it helps hold it in place. So we got all the covers back on, got it all rewired, added the 12 volts and it's uh, looking good and ready to go. So when you get ready to load this machine, um, you can plug the little transformer in and plug it into the pigtail up here. Uh, originally, this is an, uh, a piece of aluminum and this was up in the fuse holder. I've seen this quite often, um, these little aluminum bars. They're okay, they're, they're not gonna hurt anything, but it's much better if you have a fuse in there and it's a two amp fuse. So I've got that in there. All right, so um, the flow, you know the flow. Uh, this originally had some sort of a label on it. I left what was left of it there. Put a red arrow there and a little red on the end of that. What that signifies is you wanna take this piece of metal right here and push it over so that it interfaces with this. Right? Normally it's like that, and you're gonna push over so that they lock. Now that's your ball dump release lever. And if that is like this, then every ball you put in is gonna run right out the, the exit tube. So first thing you do is shove this over. And that's get 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 it set up so the balls will flow into the jackpot chamber. Ball out light is on, it's controlled by this switch here. So when it lifts off that switch, it'll turn this turn the uh, switch off. So I'll take a handful of pachinko balls. Make sure they run all the way through the system into the center jackpot. 
when you're sure that's happening, you can take the balls that you have and hopefully you've got 500 or more. <laughs> Suffice to say that uh, a pachinko machine should have five, six, seven hundred pachinko balls up here all the time. This is where they belong, it's what you need. So if you don't have enough balls, then we can make sure we get you some more. You will need a catch basin like this that'll catch the balls that drop out of here and here. The other thing you wanna make sure of is that your seesaw is set in the proper position. Right now it's, it's the white piece of plastic that's in here. Right now it's sitting like this rather than this. If it were sitting like this, this little, I have a, a red mark here, you push up and it'll take that seesaw and tip it up like that. That's where you need to have that seesaw to start. If it's down, every win you get is gonna jam into the machine and never pay out. So uh, that's one good thing to keep in mind when you do play. If you get a win and it doesn't pay out, you wanna stop and figure out why. And it'll usually be back in that area. Okay, so. got everything all set up and ready to go. When you launch a pachinko machine, you want to go all the way down and just let it roll off your thumb and it will launch a ball. Now, ideally, you can change the tension on the, in the back there. There is a, a spring that you can change the tension with. Um, you can also change it here by going up a little and then letting go. Ideally, you want to let the ball drop right down the middle so that it'll go through the center attraction. And this machine, if it does go through the center attraction, it will open that tulip if it's out, not already open. got some wins and what what happened in jostling this around you can see this and I'll, I'll get this better but there's a, a micro switch here or a leaf switch and this is what lifts up and it will lift these two tabs up and that's what turns the light on and it, what it did it is, it is it had, it had slipped down underneath it okay so just turned around and fired up again, get some winds, get the jackpot light to go on. There. This one's tough because it's all it's all pay pockets. There's only one tulip here. See the ball's going all over the floor because I don't have this back where it belongs. So when I play this thing by myself, I win all the time. When I've got the video camera on, nobody wins. Let me, uh, let me do this just so that you see what it looks like. Yeah, this needs to be adjusted. I'll get that fixed for you, don't worry. I think we're running low on balls. got that fixed now so when you when it goes down in here you can see this this portion of the let me bring this in a little closer there watch the top of this and it changes I 
get it to turn the other way. There it goes. Okay, so that's the 19, I believe, 73 Nisogen Model B. Hope you like it.